our top story this hour. This is the final weekend before the midterm elections where control of Congress hangs in the balance. Some notable names are hitting the campaign trail to help give their candidate of choice the final push. That's not all. From former NFL stars to media personalities, there is also a lot of star power on the ballot. As CBS News's Caitlin Huey Burns reports, this isn't the first time popularity and politics intersect. In the final stretch of the campaign season, candidates typically deploy celebrities to help turn out the vote. You may be asking, what is Lin-Manuel Miranda doing here? But this cycle, it's the year of the celebrity candidate. Former football star Herschel Walker is challenging Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock in Georgia. And Dr. Mehmet Oz we have never done before. is running for an open Senate seat in Pennsylvania. And together, we're going to make this happen. God bless you all for being here. The spotlight is on. Support for these two celebrities turned candidates will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. Celebrities are no strangers to politics. Look no further than the last White House occupant who proved celebrity can trump experience. They love me. But the road was paved long before him for offices big. There have been times in this office when I've wondered how you could do the job if you hadn't been an actor. And small. The campaigning is very difficult, I must say. It's much more difficult than making a movie. Clint Eastwood served as mayor of Carmel, California, campaigning on fighting bureaucracy and the city's ban on ice cream cones. When it comes to celebrities turned politicians, there have been comedians, wrestlers, it is an honor. singers, and even terminators. What did they do? They sent the Terminator to Sacramento, right? <laughs> but not all celebrity campaigns get that Hollywood ending, like Shirley Temple's attempted run for Congress or Cynthia Nixon's bid for New York governor. What's the ultimate, like the ultimate popularity contest, right, is politics. George Washington University professor Amani Cheers says celebrity candidates benefit from instant name recognition, which in political campaigns is worth gold. What do you think draws celebrities into politics? Part of celebrityism is enjoying the limelight, enjoying being in front of people in the spotlight. Charisma comes with celebrityism. And they see politics as a way to continue um, to really have their influence in the public sphere. For voters we spoke to in Georgia and Pennsylvania this cycle, celebrity is a mixed bag. I feel like if you are a celebrity and you've already achieved fame and fortune, you're probably doing this because you really care about your country. Historically in the United States, we've had a really dangerous relationship between the entertainment industry and our politics. And I think right now we're seeing it sort of reach its pinnacle. I see it as somebody who got rich on TV, pushing fake cures. And I can't take anyone that would do that seriously as a politician. And when it comes to Walker and Oz, Democrats are hoping to make celebrity a liability. Seems to me he's a celebrity who wants to be a politician. And we've seen how that goes. We're at a point right now where it is critical to have experience, but is it always important to have that in the political arena? Can you have experience in other places and also be very successful in politics? So 2022 could help determine whether more celebrities run for office. We're definitely not going to go back to a traditional um, establishment. For CBS Saturday Morning, Caitlin Huey Burns, Philadelphia. I can't help but see that and think of the Eddie Murphy movie, The Distinguished Gentleman, where oh. it was the name recognition factor, which is the idea of celebrity yeah. that when people aren't certain, they go with that name recognition. Well, the notion is that if you're a celebrity, you have no level of expertise, you have no skill set, you have, you know, in, in the general theme that could apply to politics, but that's not necessarily true. A mix, as there is with yes. all people. Yes, but right? could be. Could be, you know. Could be, but. Do your due diligence.